Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing well. My name is Hannah Gill and I'm currently one of the campus ministry interns at Hilltoppers for Christ. And today I just wanted to talk to you all about something that we're all currently doing right now, which is waiting. And specifically I wanna talk about waiting in weakness. Um, you've all waited for something before, whether that be waiting for food at a restaurant, or maybe you applied for a job and you waited to hear back from that employer. But right now we're all waiting for the same thing, which is for this quarantine period, this COVID-19 season to be over. And I would say for me and a lot of other people that I've talked to that this is a time of weakness and we're waiting for it to be over so we can all be together again. Um, but the one hopeful thing about waiting is that it always has an ending and we're never stuck just waiting for something for very long. So I just wanted to give you all a couple of scriptures to encourage you about waiting. So the first one comes from Romans 8, 25 and 26. And it says, but if we hope for what we do not yet have, we wait for it patiently. In the same way, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. So the first part of that scripture is talking about waiting for what we hope for. And right here, Paul is talking about Jesus coming back and eternal life. But right now we're waiting for the hope that this is going to end soon and paul tells us that we need to wait patiently meaning that we need to make the most of the situation that we're in and then the second part of that verse says the spirit helps us in our weakness um, we don't know what to pray for but the spirit himself intercedes for us so during this time in a time of weakness we might not know exactly what to pray for um, we're going to pray for the healthcare workers, and we might pray for people that are infected with COVID-19 and their families, but God knows way more about this virus than we do. I'm not a doctor. I only know what I read in articles, so this is really encouraging because the Spirit is going to intercede on those prayers, and God knows what we need during this time. And then the second verse I want to share with you all is 2 Corinthians 12, 9, and it says, But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weakness, so that Christ's power may rest on me. This scripture is so encouraging to me because the part about my power is made perfect in weakness. I firmly believe that God's power is going to be revealed to us through this time of weakness, through something. And God's power is greater than any weakness that we can ever go through. Um, and then the second part of that verse says, therefore I will boast all the more gladly about my weakness um, so that Christ's power may rest on me. And I've never really wanted to boast in my weakness. Um, but if I knew, if I know that Christ's power is going to rest on me during that time of weakness, I'm going to be joyful in my time of weakness. Um, and we're going to grow and we're going to be strengthened from this time of weakness. It's like that song that we sing, Everlasting God, and it says, strength will rise as we wait upon the Lord, which is what we're doing right now. So I just want to challenge you all to do something with your waiting. Do things that are glorifying to the Lord in your time of waiting. Like CJ was saying on Tuesday, um, focus on loving yourself. Um, or maybe spend more intentional time with your family. Or like Ben said yesterday, Use this time to encourage others, because if we do that, then we're going to be strengthened and we're going to grow in Christ in this time of weakness. Um, and we need to boast in this time of weakness and be joyful. So let's come out of this time of waiting together, stronger and closer to Christ. Um, I love you guys. I miss you guys. And I can't wait until our time of waiting is over.